I go Bangkok. Yeah. Bangkok. Bad word editing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, leaving VNTN now. Hopefully they have my visa. And who is that lady? Is she? What are well, you well, doing here? Well, who is are she you? Your masseuse? What are you doing here? <laughs> my name's Ed Pratt. Over the last two years, I've been on a mission to ride a unicycle around the world. This video series documents my experiences cycling from the top of Vietnam down to Singapore. This is Ed Unicycles Southeast Asia. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Good morning. I've got a big day ahead of me today. I've got a long day ahead of me because I've ballsed up. So today is Thursday the 9th of March. My visa for Lao runs out on the 14th of March. Now I'm currently 81 miles from Vientiane and the borders to Thailand. You may be thinking, Ed, plenty of time. You've got five days to get there, no problem. Well, no. And that's because before entering Thailand, I need to apply and receive a two-month visa in Vientiane. And the only time I can apply for the visa is in the mornings on weekdays. So there's no chance for me applying today, which is Thursday. So that leaves me Friday morning, which is tomorrow morning, to apply. Which means that I need to ride 81 miles to Vientiane today. Vientiane, 128k. Because overstaying my Laos visa could have been quite problematic, I decided to put the camera down today and just focus on covering the miles to the NTN. Looking back, it's a shame that I'd done more footage from this day, but it definitely was the sensible decision. Dog's going for it. I picked the camera back up as the light was starting to phase, 20 miles away from the capital. All right, so I'm sitting on about 60 miles and also sitting on quite a sore bum. Uh, I'm going to push another maybe 10 miles out today. We'll see, it's going to be dark in probably under an hour. Phong Ville guest house. I'm going to check this place out and hopefully it's, it's fine. I'm sure it will be. Um, Oh my lord! We did a grand total of 70 miles. Which means that we've got 11 miles tomorrow to the embassy, which is fine. Oh, do I look dirty? I feel dirty. I feel really quite dusty. Creeping into Vientiane now, about seven miles from the Thai embassy. Hopefully, we'll be able to pick up a two month visa today. We will see. I think it's like maybe 200 meters down here. Tired and relieved, I arrived with just two hours to spare. All right, so I made it to the embassy in time. Just applied for my visa. This kind chap looked after my unicycle while I went inside. See you look. Um, good news, I think I've got two months. Bad news, I can't pick it up until Monday, so I'm spending the weekend in VNTM, uh, which is all right. So now I need to try and find somewhere to stay for three nights um, that isn't gonna kill my wallet. I decided on the Funky Monkey Hostel because it was cheap at five pounds a night and because it was called the Funky Monkey Hostel. All right, so I arrived at the Funky Monkey yesterday. I met Jeremiah. What's up? And he wants to ride my unicycle today. That's damn so right. I'm gonna film him. Nice, nice, nice. You gotta really try and commit to that left foot though. Just try and get it on that pedal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put it down for now. Sure. I usually, uh, if if you let me, if you give me like. 20 minutes break, <laughs> I come back for it, guarantee you I'll ride it. Go for it, yeah. go for it. Thanks brother. No worries. I enjoyed my time in Vientiane, 
but Monday soon arrived, and with it, the need to collect my Thai visa and depart Laos. All right, so I'm leaving the funky monkey now. Huh? Come back. Are you leaving? Oh. I go. I go to Bangkok. Come back. Give me back here. Yeah, this is. Yeah. She wants you to go home. Go home. No, I go. I go Bangkok. Bangkok. Back. What is it? <laughs> anyway, leaving Vientiane now. Hopefully they have my visa. And who is that lady? Is she, what are well, you Paul, doing here? Well, who is are she you? Masseuse? What are you doing here? <laughs> You've been in my videos for a little while. I've been following you. If you don't already know, that's Will Hodson, better known as Super Cycling Man. He's also cycling around the world. Only, if you hadn't noticed already, he's doing the whole thing dressed up as a superhero. Yeah, I know, it's mad. I first met Will five months ago in China, where we partnered up and rode 750 miles together from Lanzhou to Leshan. We had an absolute ball of a time exploring the country and pushing ourselves through the Chinese winter. I last saw him three months ago in Kunming, where we spent a very memorable Christmas together. Needless to say, it was great to see him again. What are you doing here? <laughs> you haven't been in my videos for a little while. I've been following you. Stalky. Yeah, yeah, it seems like it. Yeah. Wiggling our wiggly roads have met up together again in Vientiane. Yeah. We're going to get some food before you head off to Bangkok. Yeah. Unfortunately, joining forces again wasn't on the cards this time, as Will was characteristically taking himself on a very wiggly route through Southeast Asia, and I needed to push myself to reach Bangkok in 12 days, just in time for my sister's arrival. Will did, however, join me for a ride to the Thai embassy. Just, just down here. We stopped for a cafe break on the way. <laughs> okay, just, just picture that that was like a big baguette. It was very tasty. <coughs> Bread, one of the treats on the road. So Bread, cereal, Nutella. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a bit of a coughing fit back here. <coughs> and Will, Will treated me to, to this big baguette, which is very kind of you. So I'm pretty much out of kip. And we've got £1.60 left yeah. for a day. That's not a lot of fun. Nah. You can, uh, you can buy me a meal in Bangkok. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Sweaty Eddie. Sweaty Eddie with his two-month <laughs> Thailand visa. All right. See you, Will. Enjoy. Enjoy the flat. Yeah. Enjoy the flat. Then no don't. more hills. But not the heat. Oh. Any last words? Could be your last clip. It's such a crazy contrast when we met last in China. I was Cheers. just thinking we were freezing, wearing multiple layers and balaclavas and thick gloves, and now. I'm, I'm going to get some after sun to deal with sunburn, it's insane. <laughs> no, no wise words, apart from, I'm melting! <laughs> I'm melting! Alright, so I'm leaving Vientiane now. Just left Will. It's a shame that you couldn't join me on this bit, but uh, we got our own plans, we got our own missions. We may well meet up again at some point. I don't know. <sighs> Officially out of Laos now going over Friendship Bridge on my way to Thailand. Woo! And fun fact about Thailand, they drive on the left. <laughs> this is the first country that drives on the left since I left England. Feels like home. Welcome to Thailand. Woo! <laughs> and just like that, just like that, we are in a new country. Country number 19, baby. With the pressure on to reach Bangkok before my sister, I decided to take a pretty direct route towards the capital. Even so, over the next few days, I still managed to find some minor quiet roads on which to unicycle. I discovered that these huts were a great option for camping, because without the need to attach my tent's rainfly, I could keep myself cooler during the humid nights. Oh my god! Woo! That's uh... Wow! I'd like to get out of here because I'm breathing in a lot of smoke. Woo! As much as I loved cycling through the mountains of Vietnam and Laos, it was still a relief to be back on flat terrain. But the issue now was that I was close to sea level, meaning that the temperature had raised considerably, averaging around 30 degrees centigrade and 80% humidity throughout the day. Far too hot to be comfortable while riding. I need to get some water because I thought I'd find some cafe or something and I haven't seen anything today. Uh, and I've got no water on me. 
and it's very very hot out here. It's alright if I keep moving, but as soon as I stop I just get drenched in sweat uh, and the heat really starts to take over. Uh, pretty happy that I've got this, uh, this hat thing lashed on. It's uh, starting to come into its own again. Picked it up in China and for a lot of the, the ride since then it hasn't all been all that useful. But I just haven't taken it off, but now it's like, yeah, it's, it's offering a little bit of shade. It's, it's something. Oh. Dehydrated, I really pushed myself to keep pedaling. By that evening, I'd reached Nongbua Lampu and luckily stumbled across a bunch of local cyclists out on their weekly club ride. And what was your name again? Your name? Biget. Biget? Yeah. Biget. So I think Biget has just offered me somewhere to sleep tonight. I think that's where we're heading now. You say like one kilometer? One kilo? One kilo. One kilometer later, and we'd arrived at Biget's bike shop, where he'd laid out beer and crisps to start off the evening. <laughs> Beer drunk, it was time to get on the back of a moped to find some food. So I think we're going out to get some food now. I've had two beers, I'm glad they're not making me ride because I'm not feeling particularly with it at the moment. Wow, a very short journey. Sick? Sick. Um, what does that mean? Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. So the, the, anyway, this one's sweet, this one's spicy. Kokum Mama. Kokum Mama. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. With my stomach full of rice and yet even more beer, we headed on back. Bigot had generously laid out a mattress for me on the floor of his bike shop. Having only been in Thailand for a few days at this point, I couldn't have asked for a better first impression of the country. Do you remember that previously my brake pads were a little worse for wear? Just came off. <laughs> the brake just, just, just stopped working. Well, after breakfast, I asked Bigot if he had any replacement pads. Luckily, even though my unicycle does contain many difficult to replace parts, the hydraulic Megara brake isn't one of them. With two shiny new brake pads, I jumped back on the uni, this time joined by Bigot, his cycling mates, and a police convoy. Yeah, this day was gonna to be totally mad. That sign says Bangkok is 380 kilometers away. I've got to do that in four days. I'm just, my head is just spinning. My body is just cramping up. I don't know, I don't know what to do. Thank you for watching this instalment of Ed Unicycle Southeast Asia. It's, it's incredibly exciting to be able to finally share these videos with you. I think they're the best that I've ever made. Basically, if you want to watch them all right now and you don't want to wait every week for a new episode to appear on YouTube, you can go over to Vimeo and there you can binge watch the whole series. So I'm trying something a bit different with this series and I'm putting it up for sale for people that want to see it first. And basically this will help support the editing process because I've still got all of the US videos to edit and the videos cycling down through the UK to finish off my world unicycle tour. All of that is still need, in need of editing and it's gonna take months because this four months of footage cycling through Southeast Asia took three months to put together. I imagine it's gonna be pretty similar putting the rest of the videos together. So basically, if you wanna watch all the videos or the Southeast Asian videos right now, you can and it'll also be supporting me while I'm putting together the future videos. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next week for Ed Unicycle Southeast Asia or right now if you decide to go over to Vimeo.